Hello wonderful people, welcome back, my name is Heisen, thank you so much for coming along. On today's episode we are building the Mandrel Habitat and I had to give myself about two days to think how I was going to do this and I kind of wanted to have a little day off as well, I went out to Woburn Park with the family, went and saw some animals, got really really close to them. I was at one point in the car, my wife was next to me, my children were in the back and we were, sit we were literally parked next to a bear. And it was sitting there, biting its kind of hand, looking directly at us. And I was like, this is phenomenal. We are so close to this bear. And there is like this real urge to put down your window. But obviously stupidity does run into your brain sometimes. And you realize that you don't want to do that. Because if you do, that bear will jump straight through and probably bite your face off. So either way, it was really, really nice to be that close to them. So that was the idea that I wanted to have in this habitat where the guests would be able to see them and be as close as possible. So the main sort of theme is where they come down into the area. They're kind of walking down as if it's into a ruined building that's kind of been built up with sand over it. So it's, it's kind of been left standing, but the sand's kind of taking its toll now and we've kind of reinforced it with some more glass but we've allowed an area of glass on the top so that when the uh, mandrels climb about you can see them right above you as well I had to decide what I was going to add into this uh, zoo. Now, I know the uh, Mandrel is not part of the new DLC pack, in, uh, the Africa pack, sorry, uh, but I, I, I felt it is an African animal and it is, I think it's believed it's more uh it's more west but central west that makes sense kind of so it's kind of like if you go north south east west it's on the west hand side which i think's near cameroon i'm not too sure somewhere around the area but they they're situated on that side so they don't occupy a large area of africa like they used to they're kind of very very like a small area now which is a real shame because they are beautiful animals with the theme as well, we're still sticking with that temple kind of Egyptian ruined theme and like a old city that's been kind of dusted away with the sand and it's just been left there. And we're just trying to work with what we've got to create a, a park or zoo into this area. And the good thing is there's like a little climbing frame there which they tend to spend a lot of time on top. So for the guests, it's fantastic. So that's what's in store for this episode and as I've been kind of doing in the last few episodes I'm going to read out some fun facts now about the mandrel, some things even I didn't know and hopefully that we can again learn something and find some interesting facts about them. So the actual mandrels are the largest of all monkeys and you're probably thinking well gorillas are quite large but gorillas are part of the ape family which includes uh, species even as humans, gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, I believe gibbons and bonobos. And uh, in evolutionary and genetic terms, ape species are much closer to humans than monkeys are. So for the largest monkey, it is in fact the mandrill. The females weigh between 11 and 13 kilograms, while the males weigh between 18 and 33. The males also tend to have a yellowy orange beard and they, their body is mostly covered in like a dense olive green fur. And the brighter and the more distinctive they are, the more attractive they are to females. So the average lifespan for uh, one in the world is roughly 20 years but the longest recorded lifespan for a captive mandrel was in fact 46 years so it actually survived a lot longer in uh, in captivity than it did in the wild now the female has a body length between 55 and 67 centimeters which is roughly around 21 and 26 inches long males have a body length between 75 and 95 centimeters again 29 to 37 inches long the tail length adds another 5 to 10 centimeters, with males having longer tails. Now, something I didn't know is that the actual colors on their face and their bottom become brighter uh, when they're excited, which is really nice. And the adult males tend to have the brightest and most distinctive colors on their face. The mandrel is quite a shy and reclusive primate, which you wouldn't really think that when you see them uh, make their call or show their aggressive face sometimes, and especially their teeth, you would think they're quite an aggressive species, but they are known to be very shy. Now, they are extremely colorful, as we know. They've got beautiful colors on their nose and just on the side of the nose as well. And as we know, they've got a very colorful bottom. Now, they also like to kind of live on the same clock rotation as humans do. They're quite active in the mornings to the evenings, and they tend to sleep more during the night. Now they also have a, a special way of carrying food, so they keep the food in their cheeks. They've got pouches inside, and if they don't want to eat it at the time, they can literally store food in there and eat it later. I mean, that's like a, a human deciding to eat, I don't know, say, some chips or a, or a hamburger or a cheeky kebab, and uh, keeping it in the cheek and then saying, you know what, I don't want to walk to the fridge, I'm just going to store it in my mouth and eat it later. But now they are omnivores, which means they will eat almost anything. They obviously like meat, they eat fruit, uh, they primarily feed on fruit and berries, seeds, nuts, roots, leaves, insects, and even small mammals and reptiles. They like to communicate through scent marks, vocalization, and body language. 
So the mandrels tend to live in small social units, but often they would join up with uh, other groups and create a large horde. Uh, one of the largest groups ever documented was over 1,200 mandrels. That's incredible. As we know, they're extremely noisy, and when they're in a the horde, the noise is uh, a hell of a lot louder than when it's in a small group. So they tend to be very vocal, and they're very prominent in expressing their sounds. They have extremely long canine teeth, which can be over five centimeters, which is two inches long, and can be used for self-defense, though bearing them is the typically a friendly gesture amongst mandrels. Now, when you see their teeth and they obviously open their mouth, which we've, you know, you've seen them, they're absolutely huge, and you see those two giant teeth, you think to yourself like, that does not look friendly, but apparently it's a nice way of gesturing to the other animals. They can mate throughout the whole year, uh, but their mating season peaks from uh, sort of roughly July to September. Uh. The gestation period for the mandrels is roughly about six months, and the females usually give birth just to one baby. Now, the leopard is the main predator of the mandrel, along with large snakes and birds of prey, who prey more upon the young. The infant is born with a dark fur coat, pinkish face, white hair on the arms and legs, a black cap of hair on the head, and open eyes. It can cling to its mother, mother's belly immediately. At two months of age, it starts to lose the baby hair and grows in its adult coat. The females in the group will assist in uh, caring for the baby. The youngster typically stays with the mum until she gives birth to her next baby and pushes her older offspring away. Charming. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there, so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you do, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you like it so that other people can see it as well. And if you are new here and you like what you see, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, it helps me hugely and your support is always appreciated for myself. So thank you again guys and I shall catch you soon. See you later, bye bye.